Excellent, thank you very much. Hello, I'm Jonathan Matthews, uh, and despite the slide that you may have seen at the start of this evening, um, which did not reflect the full title that I will be speaking about this evening, you will be seeing today a small set of unexpected yet useful things that you can do inside Cloud Foundry Build Packs, which I'm sure the people who designed Cloud Foundry would prefer you didn't do inside Cloud Foundry Build Packs. But damn it, Jim, I have a job to do. Now, the main thing that we're going to be looking at today is a thing that I've, is about six lines of bash, which isn't a particularly compelling story, but it is a really useful one. So we're going to start off looking at this thing here. I'm going to do quite a bit of typing, that's why I'm wearing this microphone and not able to unfortunately use one of these nice handheld ones. So we're going to look at what, we, what I call the devolved build pack. In the devolved build pack, we have a couple of scripts, and it's really, really quite boring. It does whatever your application inside Cloud Foundry tells it to do. In other words, the staging process in Cloud Foundry is devolved to the application. So far, so relatively boring. Okay, Let's see what we can do on that. Let's do a Hello World. What have we got in here? We have got a manifest and a compile script. The compile script is going to be fairly boring, it's going to say hello a couple of times, and the manifest is, is again pretty boring. It's going to take a minute amount of RAM, it's going to use the devolved build pack as we've seen, and then this command is just a bit of a cheat. It's the one that you can just plug in there to make an application stand up when you haven't really got anything interesting to do with the application. So let's try it. Let's push this application up to a Cloud Foundry provided today by the good folks at Swisscom. So we can see it's doing its normal pushing. We're going to upload the very small application, a couple of files. Um, then we enter the staging process, as you're all aware of. Or well, I hope you are. If you're not aware of what the staging process is in Cloud Foundry, go and find out about it. It's, um, yeah, it really does change how you build applications if you think of it in terms of just throwing it at a Cloud Foundry. Here we can see the staging process it did. As we saw, the few lines, it said, hello world, starting the command, almost done, complete. And as far as Cloud Foundry is now uh, aware, that was a completely successful staging process. So what do we got? We've now got one that's running, and it has done a thing. Now, as I said, there's nothing interesting at the end of this. That's just a demo to show you that we can do whatever's in the application, we can do in the staging process. Let's do something actually useful with this. So what we're going to do now is we are going to go and we are going to use the staging process to build a bit of software. In this instance, it's HA Proxy that we're building. Let's kick this off and then we can come around the back and have a look at what it's actually doing. So whilst that sits in the background, let's have a look at what the, what's actually going on in here. The compile script in this app, which is going to be devolved to by the build pack, is doing exactly one thing. It's running another script. In that one, sorry, oops, it is doing, I can tell you what it's doing here. It's getting a tarball of HA proxy. It is making HA proxy, compiling it. It's then, well, you'll see in a moment in the background, so it's making at the moment. In a moment, it's just going to run the HA proxy that it's correct, correctly um, compiled, just to show us the output, show us the compile options, so that we can validate that we've got what we expect to have. Uh, so that's here. We can, we can see that it did. Here we are. It ran correctly. We then drop the binary that we've created into a directory called binaries. Why do we do that? Well, very briefly, it's because... We are using the multi-build pack. This is a build pack which allows us to layer multiple build packs together. And the build packs I'm layering together here are the devolved one and the static file build pack. So this means that the end result down here of this running application is a website where we have the binary presented to us by the static file build pack. And that as a pattern, do your compilation inside the stager, present the binary for something to come along and get, maybe your CI process comes along and gets that at the end of it. That's a pattern that uh, I've certainly found rather useful. The other side of what you can do with this, 
uh, is that this eases the creation of build packs. This makes it so that you can sit with your build pack in progress as if it were an app and just continually push it without having to go through some check-in cycle, through some zipping up your build pack. You can just keep pushing this as if it were an app to see that it's going to do the right thing. That is, uh, that's a process that I found to be uh, really useful when I haven't got access to, say, my own uh, Cloud Foundry that I'm an operator of, a, cl um, a Cloud Foundry where I can't push my own build packs into it except by referencing them as a thing that can be cloned by the, cl the Cloud Foundry. Having that immediacy, this really reduces the cycle time of developing new build packs. Um, here's a few links. Here's the Devolve build pack. You'll find that there's absolutely no documentation there as I wasn't aware that we were going to be talking about this until two o'clock this afternoon. Um, here's the build pack. Uh, you may be used to seeing that one in um, uh, a GitHub link, but the, if you are using multi-build pack, I advise you to move over to that one as the Heroku one uh, has been deprecated. And on the 1st of January next year, 2017, all your builds will fail. There's been a kill switch put in that. Stop using that one. Um, here's the example that we had. It's the, the one that builds HA proxy build pack. And I advise you to... Uh, Hit me up on the Twitters, J plus C plus M, and tell me that I am wrong and bad and evil for doing this sort of thing in Power Foundry. Thank you very much.